Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video we've got this lovely Class 25 by Graham Farish. Uh, this one is built on a China chassis, so it's a split chassis. They did a pool type version of this loco and then they do a new tool type version of this loco as well. Uh, but this one's the midway point, uh, so it's got like the old tooling shell on it. Uh, but a really good running chassis um, and we'll have a look at that a bit later on. We'll do a bit of running. Um, in the box with this one though, uh, there was a loose prop shaft and I think that might be part of the reason it's not working very well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it's not in the loco, but nonetheless let's get it over to the track and uh, we'll see what's going on shall we. So here we are at the track then, uh, let's just go forwards-ish. Now it's hesitating a little bit and you see it jump in there. What's happening is one of the bogies is trying to move the loco but the other bogey, because it's got a worm gear in it, it's not allowing it to move properly. Uh, again, pointing towards it's missing a prop shaft or there's a drive train issue there. The pickups for the loco itself seem fine. Uh, it's getting power, the motor's working. So I think we should go, get it over to the bench and see what's going on. Right then, uh, so first thing we need to do really is get this body off the loco. Uh, simply just wiggle it up. Um, <laughs> you can lift one side of it and then lift the other. It should just pop off the top. Uh, to split the chassis in half we need to remove this battery box cover and uh, using a Phillips screwdriver there's three screws that hold these two chassis halves together now the reason we're pulling these apart is to get access to those bogies to hopefully get the prop shaft back in the loco the screws go all the way through there's an isolating piece of plastic between each chassis half and that little bit of plastic next to the screw is what holds that screw in so there's three of those just make sure you put all these back as you've removed them from your loco that's the second one, and this is the third one. Sometimes tapping the chassis like that just allows the plastic uh, nut, so to speak, just, just to fall out the other half of the chassis. So then, being careful, uh, everything will fall apart when you do this, it always happens. Uh, try and split the chassis halves. So there we go, we have our prop shaft finding its home again. Now, the wasted part of the prop shaft goes into the bogey, and then the thicker end of that prop shaft goes to the motor side. And you can kind of see how it all goes together here. You've got to make sure those pickups go um, under the chassis, and the plastic piece of that bogey sits in that sort of receptacle on the chassis, and make sure your prop shaft goes in. Now the art here is to balance everything as you put the chassis half back on the loco and being careful not to squash those pickups on those bogies because they're meant to just rest on the underside of the chassis halves. Okay, just taking your time here, don't force anything. Uh, we've got our insulating pieces of plastic between those chassis halves where the screws are going through. And really, um, I'm going to screw this back together one screw at a time and just see what we get, see what we end up with. And it's worth noting here that I've um, checked that the bogies are, are free to move because sometimes you might get a split gear um, and that might have been why the prop shaft popped out or something like that but I can't find anything actually wrong with this loco other than the prop shaft just wasn't in it so maybe uh, someone took it apart, tried to put it back together um, or, or didn't even do that, the prop shaft somehow found its way out and they just didn't put it back in so it's just another screw there just bear in mind there's three of these screws that hold the two chassis halves together I don't do them overly tight either, uh, it's just enough to nip the two halves together and then our all important battery uh, cover there now inside there there's two lugs at the top and they go into the recess on the chassis and it just simply clicks on. 
So, um, remembering the orientation that the, the body came off, we just literally clip it back on as it came off. And I'm just marking out, you see the grill area on the side there that goes on the wasted part of where the battery box is. And hopefully this works. Let's get it over to the track and see what we've got. Right then, so applying power, hopefully we've got rid of the jerkiness. Um, and straight off the bat, this is the first time it's been ran. It moves absolutely fantastic. I, I, I think from Graham Farish thus far, these are probably the most bulletproof locos you can get. Um, the China versions, the, um, they, they just run exquisitely. Uh, the pickups on here, as you can see, over the points, it's not, it, look at it, it's moving so slowly, it's fantastic. So I'm pretty happy that I've fixed that loco now, um, so let's give it a run, shall we? Cue the music. <laughs> 